because of playing better with some legendary players will not make your play style better. Sounds weird, right? Well, that is the truth you are not focusing on. If you already learned joystick movement, shooting and passing methods, that will be not enough for playing well. There are many more things you have to notice. In today's video, I'll show you the proper usage of dash button. Listen, I'll explain you the basic rules to use the button in correct way. But all you need to do is practice, using a button in correct time, is not about only having the knowledge of usage. You need to train your mind to act in those scenarios. Dash button is one of the most important thing in our game. Understand it properly. When your player is moving without dash, you can move him towards any direction so quickly. And because of slow speed, the ball will be easier to control. But, using dash, your player will move faster than normal in two ways. If you tap and hold the dash button then move the joystick, the player will move faster, and if you swipe the joystick once before moving it to the direction you want, the player will accelerate with his full speed. Check this comparison for better understanding. Number 1. When you need to dribble against opponent players, avoid using the dash button. Because, you cannot perform a dribble when your player is dashing. And not only that, dash will make the ball control weaker than normal movement. Use the dash after making a successful dribble to move forward faster. Number 2. When you need to change player's direction in a sudden way, make an opposite direction movement using dash. It will make the movement unpredictable and way harder for your opponent to trace. Number 3. When you are defending, use the dash to create a forceful pressure against your opponent. It will make the opponent player struggle to dribble against your defender. But remember not to use dash inside the penalty box, or you know what will gonna happen. Number 4. When you are performing a pass or receiving a pass, try to release the dash just before those. It will make the player more stable, and your pass will be more accurate. See, how I avoid using dash when I'm passing the ball. Remember, sometimes game sense is not only thing you have to keep in mind. Practicing the movements will improve your gameplay day by day. So that's all I got in this video. If you want to learn about joystick control techniques, then click on the left video, and for dribbling, click on the right video.